Hello everyone, it's Enigma here, and today is another episode of my Super Mario Party idea series. Last time we talked about boards, but this time we're going to be talking about board spaces. So, in each Mario Party game, there's always boards, except for <coughs> Mario Party Night. But, you know, I think these boards should come back to this game. Um, I have a lot of returning boards, I only have one new board space, space that's what I meant to say. Um, but I'm gonna just go down the list. I have a lot of spaces, uh, returning from other games, so... Obvi the most obvious one, the blue space, it gets you three coins. The red space gets you, well, makes you lose coins. Green space. Well, actually, this is kind of a new one. Um, well, but if you land here, nothing happens. You don't earn it, you don't earn anything, and you don't lose anything. Nothing happens. You're, you're safe. Um... The happening space triggers an event, you know, like, it can be like, it can be like, um, a, a board event, like, something happens that randomly, like, cause a disturbance, like, it can either help or harm, it's kind of hard to explain, but I'm pretty sure for all you Mario Party fans, you guys should know what a happening space is, it's one of the most popular spaces in the game. Uh, please... Please bring this space back. Chance time. Why did they get... This This was a board space from Mario Party 1 to 6, and then in 7 they removed it. For... I have no idea. That was a big mistake. They need to bring chance time back. Like, that was one of the main features of the first Mario Party. That's what made everyone love Mario Party, was chance time. Because, like... Basically what chance time is, for those who aren't aware of what chance time does, it's basically something that could screw up your whole game for the rest of the game. You could swap stars with people, you could lose, like, you could sw you could swap coins, like, it could be anything, like, there's a big roulette, and, like, if you hit a certain players, those two players have to swap their things or anything else could happen. Chance Time was a big game changer for the other Mario Party games, and it needs to come back in this game. Like, what were they thinking getting rid of Chance Time? Like, what idea was that? They need to bring it back in this game in order to make this game really stand out for bringing back Chance Time. Um, so yeah, bring Chance Time back. Oh, but anyways, uh, the next uh, space is a mini game space. Uh, it's kind of simple. Um, basically, if you land here, uh, you're forced to play a mini game already. Um, it can vary. Like a roulette will spin, and it'll tell you what mini game you're gonna play, and then another roulette will spin about what mini game you're actually gonna play. And yeah, I think that would um make sense. Um, mushroom space is another one. Uh, it earns the player a mushroom. Basically, it's basically a uh. Basically, it's something that will help you, like, uh, it's similar to, like, um, candies from Mario Party 8. Uh, basically, it will, like, it's hard to explain. Like, it'll, it'll give you, like, some sort of power it, it, that will make the, uh, that will make your turn easier for you. That's basically the best way I can put it. Um, and by doing that, it earns you a mushroom. Now, I'm going to talk about these two spaces at the same time, because they basically mean the same thing. Uh, Funky Kong Space and Koopa Kid Space. Uh, basically, the Funky Kong Space replaces the Donkey Kong Space. Seeing how Donkey Kong is playable, I, I should have done Diddy Kong, but Diddy Kong is also playable as well. So, basically what I said was, Funky Kong comes to the board to help the player, uh, and it replaces the Donkey Kong Space. And then for the other one is the Koopa Kid Space. It's basically the same thing, but has the opposite effect. Koopa Kid comes to the board to harm the player, replaces the Bowser space. Um, personally, um, I don't really like how Bowser's playable. Um, I, I really liked it when he was, like, the, like, the, he crashed the party. Because it made a lot of sense. Instead of, it, that, instead of Mario inviting him to the party, like, I mean, I love Bowser, don't get me wrong, but, like, he just doesn't fit as a playable character. I, I liked it better when he was a a board hazard, 
because that that changed up the game and it made you really scared of Bowser in the other Mario Party games. And he played a big role in changing the games. And now that he's playable, like I, but I guess the good thing that he's playable is that it could be a perfect time to bring back the Koopa Kid because the last time we saw him was Mario Party Six, I believe. It was either Mario Party 5 or 6 was the last time we saw him, and they need to bring back Koopa Kid. Now, I don't think he's going to return as a playable character, but they could have him as a stage hazard again. Because he was a stage hazard in Mario Party 1 to 3 and 4, and then he was made playable in 5. Um, but I think he should go back to a stage hazard, uh, well, board hazard. So yeah, I think that would fit for a replacement for the Bowser space. Um, the next, uh, space is the battle space. You duel it out with an opponent in a dual mini game. Uh, basically, it's like the other Mario Party games. You, there's like a roulette, and you have to, and then you have to choose, and then, like, a roulette will spin, and then if you press A, your, your opponent will be whoever you got. Uh, I think that makes sense. Um, warp space, uh, a rule, another roulette will spin, and if you like, and then you throw a dart at the player, and then whatever player you throw the dart at is the player you warp to. I think that would make a lot of sense. Um, well, it's been in space since the beginning. <laughs> well, not since we, since Mario Party Four. Um, character space is next. Um. This, um, well, I gotta talk about the first one. Well, I gotta talk about the one out, uh, the one that I listed next before I talk about the character space. Um, orb space. You earn an orb. Basically, what orbs do is, you know, you can set up traps. So, depending on what your orb is, you can, um, it'll, uh, set a trap. I think that would, I think orbs need to come back. Like, seriously. Uh, but then... That brings me to character spaces. See, when you throw an orb, a, a certain a character space, uh, a silhouette of that character will appear on the board, uh, and it will replace a already existing space. You can throw uh, an orb, and it will turn into the silhouette of the character that threw the orb, and then whoever lands on the character space, um, that's what triggers the trap. Um, I think that makes sense, you know? Uh... Orbs need to come back, like for real. Now, the one new space I think could change up the game a little bit. Uh, lose your turn space. If you land here, you lose a turn for the next for, for the next uh, round. So basically, what happens is okay. Now, say if you lose, uh, say if you land on a lose a turn space. Uh, basically, the next round, if if the game realizes you're on this space, they won't let you move. They'll be like, oh, dang it, you can't move. And then you they will skip you. Uh, but then the <laughs> the match after that, they will let you move. Um, I think that would be a really good way to earn, like, to, that will change the game a little bit. I'm surprised this space has never been in a game, in a Mario Party game before. It, it kind of makes sense to add it, don't you think? Um, the next two I'm going to talk about at the same time, and they're pretty obvious that they're going to be in this game. Maybe not the last one, but the first one, obviously. Star Space, obviously. They fi they finally brought the star back instead of those stupid mini stars. They finally brought the stars back. Thank God. If you land here, you obviously earn a star. Well, if you have enough money. However, the next one is a Z-Tar space. If you land here, you lose a star. Um, I don't know if they're going to bring that one back, simply because they haven't done that in a while. Um, but since they had mini Z-Tars in Mario Party 9 and 10, it makes me feel like they do have Z-Tars in mind in the Mario Party series. It would make sense to bring that back. But stars, they're definitely coming back. They were in the trailers. You know, obviously stars are coming back. Um, thank God. Thank God. Oh, but yeah, that was my opinion on the board spaces. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think should be board spaces, or like what you think should return, or some new board space ideas. Anything along the lines of that. Anyways, next time we're going to be talking about items. So anyways, this has been Enigma, and peace. See you next time.